let's first take a look at these um, invasions here. The invasions of Japanese territory are not really going anywhere. Neither are these two, really. Kosovo, I think we're gonna get. And of course, um, some of the uh, the British colonies in Africa, if this continues. But, uh, more pressing matters. Five Japanese DDs? Okay. That's uh, kind of whatever. But we got... Let's see, here they are. These are also heading right there where those DDs are heading. And that is five battleships, six battle cruisers, a bunch of light cruisers, and some more DDs. So that's going to be quite a formidable uh, force. Let's see, uh, okay, that's not my super battleships, that's just a single DD. You can uh, you can go home to port, I think. Here's my super battleships. Okay. Let's see. If I send them here, will they also arrive in one turn? I know they're kind of damaged after that battle with the Germans last month, but it's. Uh, Yeah, and they are also kind of low on ammo. But it's the damage to Corrector that is... Um, and Patrona. That's the most pressing problem here. No, actually, I think the, uh, the Battlecruisers I'm assembling here... I think they will uh, be able to handle that. So, these will instead continue where they were headed and we're gonna fight this one battleship and nine light cruisers perhaps a little bit of overkill let's see the Japanese also have here let's see Trincomalee they've got some ships in port and that is another battleship and battle cruiser And they are heading here, but they're going to arrive in two turns. Let's see, these are the German heavy cruisers that I actually just want to keep alive because I want them as war operations after this is done. Let's see what they have left in total. Japan. Still quite a uh, formidable... Uh, active fleet. They're building 35 ships. Germany has been heavily reduced after that last battle. But they're building 48 ships. Uh, Britain has pretty much nothing left. USA has nothing left. My shipyards are a little bit overloaded. That is even with the uh, suspension of repairs on the TM. Tiramisu. Il Tempo Giganta going to be finished in one month. Madonna, three months. Let's see, how much uh, overcapacity am I? It's like 130,000 tons. What about the building I'm doing for... Scotland. Let's just order them by sold. Yeah, we're finishing off a bunch of um, DDs very soon. Gromit in four months. Yeah, it's going to take a little while. But I think we should be back to capacity next month. Maybe. We'll see. 
Uh, this invasion is still 100% chance to succeed. Is it possible to start a... nope. We'll have to try next turn. Let's see if it's possible to actually start in an invasion of southern Greece. Or if it's uh, just for some reason not possible. Because I have the tonnage in the required uh, uh, region. Oil discovery in Zanzibar. Peace with the United States. Let's see, how much can I get out of this? I can take Puerto Rico. Or Costa Rica. Let's see. El Salvador and Cape Verde. Fine. Fine. The Britain government asked to sign a peace treaty. You got some uh, some victory points over the British. I think we're gonna fight a little bit more because they still have some ships that I would like to fight. Fight to the end. Let's see, we're striking. Here's one meeting. Shikishima class battleship. That's one of those heavy cruisers with not a lot of armor but a lot of guns. And yeah, I think I think we got this fairly easily. So we got a collection of um, lots of different battleships. Quite a hodgepodge. Didi's I think I have enough firepower to get this done without you, so I would rather just not risk losing them. Let's see, Montague. You can kind of go alone. Because it would just mess up everything if she had to like turn around and follow the Balboa. San Andrea actually has a top speed of 28 knots. I thought she was one of the slow dreadnoughts, limited to like 25 or something, but... It's actually, I think, my first fast battleship. Already scoring some big hits. Let's see if you can turn in a little bit more, but the, uh, the maneuverability is not the greatest. Something sinks. Oh. Accidentally caught a pretty nice puzzle flash here. First time using this in battle, it's one of the ones um, I got from the British. From the previous war. And I was able to refit. It's now a uh, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent battleship. 19.5 inch guns. Yeah, those are the biggest I have in service. 0.5 inches larger in diameter than um, even the Dictator class. Okay, well, let's select some targets here. Montague, definitely fire at the battleship. RD with your 17-inch uh, guns, Balboa with your 16s, San Andrea. You might want to target a heavy cruiser with your 15-inch guns. And my heavy cruisers. Well, I think this guy is already sinking. 
but just in case, Maria Teresa, you can uh, you can finish it off. What is thinking? San Andrea takes a pretty meaty hit from an 18-inch gun. Knocking out her tower. I think I want the uh, the San Andrea to uh, actually retreat whenever possible. have the bigger battleships go in front of her to you, you got 7 inch guns as secondaries. Let's engage that cruiser. This poor Japanese battleship. Really bitten off more than she can chew. Probably expecting a pretty uh, simple victory, knowing she would go up against two of my oldest battleships still in frontline service the San Andrea and the Balboa. I think they forgot about my uh, my prize ships. The Boyardee, originally a um, an American ship, and the Montague, which I don't think I have renamed. I think that was her original British name. There you go. Enemy battleship sunk, and that cruiser, yeah, it's dead. Kind of making it easy when they're uh, just coming straight at me like that, but hey, <laughs> that's what they do. Let's see. Montague with the big hits. Uh, Boyardee actually not doing much at all. Balboa doing a lot. All right. Now, next battle. Okay, here we are. That's the uh that's the main event. <laughs> that's a lot of battle cruisers on my side coming together and they all arrived just in time. I got battle cruisers and DDs. That's it. No escorting cruisers, no battleships. The Japanese have battleships. They got five of them. Shokaku class. All five are Shokaku class. Oh, these are the old dreadnought type battleships. All right. Yari, nineteen fifty-eight class battlecruisers. These are dead slow. How did they arrive here in just a month? Oh wait. The original original Yari class is quite fast, thirty knots. And then they refit it to make it bad. Typical AI things. And a lot of light cruisers. And a lot of DDs. Okay, this is gonna be quite um 
quite the battle. Okay. All right, ten battle cruisers on my side. In terms of by, uh, capital ships, we're not that far off. They got one more. Already firing right off the bat. Let's see if this is even possible to uh, to organize. Of course, I got one lone DD over here and three here. It's gonna be chaotic. I think what I'm just gonna do. If any of you have OCD, then I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have one division of five and one division of three. I would have liked to have two divisions of four, but that's not what I have, so. Now, the battle cruisers, <laughs> we got three different classes here. There is the, um, here's Adetusa. You will detach because you are stupidly fast. Sanita, that is your sister. I kind of need you two to um, go alone. That's one division of three. Regina, Bastarda, Fortuna. The good mix. Good mix of ships. Not ideal, but it's what I have. Again, if I could uh, deploy my ships at the start of the battle, <laughs> I would have had the uh, the Bastardas and the um, Regina Isabellas in like, their own formations because their top speeds are not quite the same and their guns are not quite the same. fire at will to begin with and this is a little bit of a traffic jam that's okay Okay, I think my traffic jam has uh, resolved itself, pretty much. Let's see, Italia, you got 16-inch guns. You're gonna fire at a battleship. San Gennaro, you have 15s. Fire at whatever that is. What the hell is this? Archimede. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. You are a Bastarda class. Lepanto. 16 inch guns. Target a battleship. Archimede, that one. Fortuna, 16 inch guns, target a battleship. Regina Isabella, 16 inch guns, target a battleship. Bastarda, target a cruiser. Atusa and Sanita, uh, whatever that is. 
Now we have the artillery targets all uh, selected. Can you just stop sticking together? Okay, this is... Uh, it's gonna be disastrous if she starts launching... Uh, <laughs> launching torpedoes with the rest of the division. So, yeah, you're just gonna have to detach. And... Uh, go away. These are almost in range. Almost. What about these three? And they're being cut off by whatever that is. No, we're turning this way. Sailing parallel to the uh, the enemy battle line. That's the plan here. Are we in range of that battleship yet? Okay, you just need to get those torpedoes in the water because you're uh, kind of taking heavy fire here. Torpedoes out from number one. All you had launched. You need to detach. Go home. And the rest of you can also go home. Palestra has not launched yet. There she goes. Okay, how about you three now? Have you launched? Uh, I mean, no you have not launched because you've not been authorized. But are you ready to launch? That's the question. smoke up at least lagging a little bit one DD has now sunk let's see we have launch we have retreat What kind of ship is this? A DD or a battle cruiser? One's well, dead now. And these three are uh, actually ready to go for another uh, round once they are rearmed. are these three, if they survive the retreat. There we go, torpedoes from the first wave, already hitting. Excellent, excellent. And this is also looking good. Up to 17 torpedo hits, and half my torpedoes I have still not reached the enemy. This is the Drift King. Ooh. And four 
unfortunate. A little bit of overcorrection there. Did not have his Eurobeat playlist uh, ready. Twenty four, twenty seven. Don't think that uh, torpedo volley could have uh, could have been any better than that. No, I don't think it could have been. All right. And it only cost me one destroyer. Which is actually not not that bad. I'm not sailing into my own torpedoes, am I? It would be uh, kind of embarrassing. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think most of my primary targets are already dead, so we're uh, mostly firing at will here. That's okay. That is okay. The enemy destroyers are getting uh, slaughtered. Actually, uh, let's actually pick out some uh, some new targets here. Uh, you still have your battleship that you are targeting. With Ponto, do you still have a battleship to target? And we still have the enemy battle cruisers that are uh, <laughs> very similar looking to heavy cruisers. Vesuvio. Archimede. Fortuna, is there a uh, capital ship here for you to target? This guy. Regina. What is this? That's a... Uh, possibly? A battlecruiser? Bastarda. Aratusa, Sanita. You guys have six inch secondaries. They are not quite in range of any. Yeah, no, they are in range. Never mind. Your six inch secondaries are definitely in range. Main guns on that ship, both of you actually. What is this? A battle cruiser? It's got long range torpedoes. I should be careful here. sink it outright before it can launch. 
did launch. It launched a lot of torps. Sanita, careful. Sanita ate three torpedoes. I could have avoided that better if I just split the uh, the formation. But Sanita didn't take too much damage, so we're good. Archimede. I have to do this on pause, or it's impossible. Detach. your cruising speed. What kind of torpedo range are we looking at from uh, these guys? You have no torpedoes. Because they blew up or did you launch them? Sanita barely took any damage from those three torpedoes. What kind of torpedoes were they? Twenty-two inch from this one. No, it was uh, these torpedoes. Nineteen inch, baby torpedoes. There we go enemy battle cruisers closing in. I, think I actually got some decent armor. At least when closing in at an angle like that, where I can't get a flat hit on the um, on the belt. Q three are almost reloaded. You can come back and launch some torpedoes at the battle cruisers if that is even uh, necessary might not be. A single torpedo coming by way. Kill it before it launches. Yes. I think this is uh, going quite well. Only taken three torpedo hits on the Sanita and it did basically nothing. Well, also I lost a DD, but uh, it's just a DD. See, this DD squadron is uh, coming in. The enemy still has two battleships left afloat. Uh, excuse me, three battleships. Here to you. What's the armor scheme of these? Point nine main deck. All right. Enjoy your uh, deck penetrations, I guess. Actually, it's gonna be deck overpens. <laughs> I think. Battle cruiser Bonjo is vaporized. Talia and San Gennaro. Getting a little bit far away. 
or the Tucson Sanita. Still almost making 40 knots despite the Sanita taking three torpedoes. They are focusing the uh, battleship uh, Ryuho. Which now sinks. How about you two focus on these uh, light cruisers? First the two ones that are not uh, too heavily damaged. While they are being limited in speed by the uh, by the heavily damaged one. Yeah, Eleven point eight main deck armor. If I launch now, I'm gonna hit a lot of wrecks. That is obviously not ideal. But is it better than uh, taking too much fire closing in? Gonna get a little bit better angle and then I think launch the torpedoes. Just towards the Oshima. But I'm thinking the torpedoes will continue past and hit the, uh, the ships behind it if I can just find the right angle. And I'm thinking if I launch now, aiming point should be here. They should continue. Ah, oh, no. I think I goofed. I think the tor torpedoes from the front, uh, DD. Probably not gonna hit anything. Let's see. I'm just gonna have all of you detach. Go home. Get your uh, torpedoes in the water, in, um, impavido. Now, please. Is there a reason why you're not launching? I would like to know. Please, before you sink. There we go. Oh, that's a stupid expensive DD too. Yeah. That was not worth it for the off chance of maybe getting a couple more torpedo hits. Well, these three. I want them going for the Yachty. Sanita has taken some more hits. 17 inch from the uh, from the battleship. Italia. Get the heat to you, please. Uh, 16 inch hit guns from Lepanto, not in range of anything. Get these a little bit closer to the fight. Yes, I am in fact turning in. The Ponto, how are you almost out of ammo? Have you fired that many shots? I guess you have. 
guess you were also a little bit low on ammo to begin with. Fortuna is out of 16-inch uh, ammo. It's basically the Bastardas I have left with any uh, any meaningful amount of ammo. Did I score some more torpedo hits on that battle cruiser? I kind of missed it, but no. These torpedoes are in fact continuing on and might hit the ships behind. And now we're going for the Yari. Yeah, the Rodina Isabellas, they were in combat. And, uh, I think at the previous month, or if not, at least the one before that. They were fighting the German cruisers in the North Sea. And they were just hurried off to the uh, the Caribbean. Sanita and Artusa. Still combat effective. Can we get a couple of hits on that light cruiser? Yeah, we get torpedo hits here. Ten torpedo hits, and we're not done yet. We're gonna get at least two more. Three more torpedo hits on Yadi. Yeah, she's done. Forty-six torpedo hits in total. Talia has a couple of rounds left in her. Let's see, what are we doing to you? Main deck partial pen, main deck partial pen. Switch to uh, to AP now before you run out of HE. Oh, these can switch to. Uh, uh, I can made. I had you retreat because I was for afraid you were gonna sink. Uh, but you seem to be in a good, uh, good enough shape. Should have just not had you retreat that far. Well, the AP shells are actually going through. Causing flooding that I need. That's great. Two are almost completely out of HE. Come on, sink that battleship. And we'll just drive you closer to the light cruiser so you can engage it with your uh, six inch guns. If it's still afloat when you get that close, might not be the case. Setsu sinks. to you last battleship afloat oh 
Oshiba. As in disappointingly good shape. I need to score some hits here. Back to auto. Just fire off your last uh, HE ammo. Should have probably managed my ammo better. Turns out my AP was better than HE. At dealing with these battleships. So it should have been used for that. And the HE conserved for the lighter ships. There we go. Secondaries. And the light boat. Gonna have the six inch guns opening up anytime now. Any second now? Where are they not? Oh, there we are. Oh, yeah, they don't have a six inch turret right after the B turret. getting confused with my own design. They only have one 6 inch turret and it's uh, mounted on the secondary tower. Come on Suma, take a couple of 6 inch hits for me. What kind of armor do you have? Nothing. That's probably why you're still alive. There we go, the 6 inch guns are uh, having some kind of an effect. I think the 4.2s are opening up too. Yeah, they are. Secondaries to AP, maybe you flood it out. No, oh, no, 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 no. I messed up again. I'm out of two, so I took a couple of torpedoes. But I think we're sinking that battleship. We are. Surrendered, actually. Just before sinking. Tusa also did not take a lot of damage from those three torpedoes. 614 damage from two direct torpedo hits. It's basically nothing. I think we only have those DDs left to worry about there. This group is engaging an enemy battlecruiser. Too slow to run away because it's the refit that they made uh, worse. Only the Bastarda class cruisers can actually uh, do something because they still have ammo left for the main guns. I think Kurataka is gonna sink. Yep. Now, the um, 
Naganami. That's a cheap ship. 47 million? For a DD going 38 knots? 18 inch torpedoes, okay. That kind of <laughs> explains something. Oshima sinks due to heavy flooding, and I think this DD is the last one remaining. Only 47 million for a DD. Granted, its torpedoes are basically useless. Smoke spotted northwest. I thought we were done here. Okay, Sanita, you're gonna detach. Because I think you're gonna keep the Artusa back. Are we really gonna go hunting for what I think is a single remaining ship? Let's just uh, get the bearing uh, right and then go look for the radar ping and see how far out it is. If it's really far, I'm just not going to bother. I think I do not bother. Let me just be sure I have this right. Okay, now I'm scrolling in the right direction at least, so I should be able to see. Uh, a radar return somewhere. There it is. 120 kilometers. Ah, uh, yeah, it's fast. I think the last remaining ship was a DD. No, it was actually two light cruisers. Undamaged. Yeah, 36.4 knots probably still doing that, so I would not have had much of a uh, speed advantage. Lost three DDs, two of the expensive ones, and an older, uh, cheaper one. But they sure did some damage. Let's see, six torpedo hits scored five, five. Archimede, 240,000 damage, even if she retreated quite early on. Mm. Sanita, 285. This DD scored 4 torpedo hits. Regina Isabella, 66. Lepanto, 66. Those were the ones with the 16 inch guns, they quickly run out of ammo. Let's see, here we got 6 torpedo hits. 12 torpedo hits from the Ostro. That's pretty good. Yeah, the. Um this one did 8 torpedo hits. The Bastardas actually outperformed Well, not the uh, not the Sanita class, but they outperformed the Regina Isabellas. But that is, I think, because uh well they started out with a full load of ammunition. Okay, let's see what's next. At the very least, I'm 
losing a lot of transports. Wow, I'm losing a lot of transports. That's mostly temporary because I'm getting uh, the situation out of, under control. Scotland wants to buy another battleship. I'm sorry, Scotland, but I don't know if you noticed my shipbuilding capacity is um, already overloaded. But then again, sure, why not? And some DDs for Colombia as well. Let's see, can I actually start an invasion of Greece now? No. Why not? Is it because the... Uh, it might it might be because of the uh, rebellion? But then again, I don't know. Or are these just not accurately positioned in the Aegean Sea? I don't know, hard to tell. Let's see, we have a convoy mission here. And another one here, DD versus DD. I think we can do this and then end the episode. All right, General Antonio. Let's go kill a Japanese DD. And there it is. What kind of torpedo range? 17 kilometers. All right. And I think what I'm going to do here is um, aim my torpedoes at the transports. Because the enemy deity is doing all kinds of maneuvers. So it's going to be almost impossible to hit with torpedoes if I aim at it. But if I aim at the transports, and the DD is circling the transports. I might get a couple of torpedo hits that way. Maybe. Or at the very least, hit the transports, which is what I'm about to do. No? Yes. One. But the enemy torpedoes didn't hit anywhere near my DD either, so... It's fine. We are even. Well, let's just get into range with the uh, with the five inch guns and start blasting. Accidentally hitting a transport. That's fine. There we go. Enemy DD is dead. That was quick. What kind of guns did you have? Oh, 5.1s. Not bad. I think I just had more. Just continues underwater. All right. Kind of funny, but okay. 
funny physics. But that's it for this episode. Now, oh, Scottish heavy cruiser. And we are fighting one of the Admiral Hippers that I um, I tried to spare so I could take it as war operations, but I think this time we're gonna have to sink it, sadly. Do they have a lot of cruisers being repaired? Got a couple of battleships. Yeah, here we go. Bremen. Seven heavy cruisers being repaired. Hopefully they still have the plans for those. So I can uh, I can claim them. And also refit them. Are we sure I cannot start a naval invasion? Okay. Uh, the nationalists are back in power in Germany, so... Uh, the Bundesrepublik of Germany was uh, not long lived. Like ten battle cruisers here, I will need to uh, split them up a little bit. Let's see where's the rest of the Japanese navy. Didn't actually get anything going here. I thought I was about to. Oh, I'm uh, standing on top of a Japanese task force. A battleship and nine light cruisers. I guess they successfully withdrew. You can try again next month. A lot of task forces going to the same spot. Okay, but that's it. Goodbye and take care.